Hey, I wanted to make a quick video how to replace a hard drive in a single bay NAS. So if you have a Synology, uh, DS118, 120J or older, SC series, uh, 60 series, whatever you have. The popular question is, how do you replace it without losing all your settings and data? And this is what we're going to look at today. So we can uh, replace a hard drive, export settings and import the settings on the new drive to achieve that we will need external usb uh, docking station like a dock where we can slide in the drive and copy data over it is easy with two base because there's usually raid one so you've got the mirror of those two drives what you need to do is just replace a single drive and the copy will be recreated and uh, that's a straightforward process. With a one bay, not only you can't slide the drive out, you need to dismantle the entire unit and take the thing out. Um, but we will have a look how to do that. So the first thing you will need to do is go into your Synology NAS, DSM. Use um, Synology Finder or find.synology.me to find your NAS. Go into, log into, go to control panel, update and restore and then choose uh, manual export. This will export most of the settings we got on your NAS. So later on when we put in the new drive, we will be able to import the settings in a very similar way. So here we are with our one bay NAS. This case is DS118, but pretty much all one bay NASs from Synology are very, very similar. To get to your hard drive, you will need to unscrew the one on the top, one at the bottom, and then you'll slide them, slide the panel sideways, and it will just open up. Then you will see your hard drive screwed in. You'll need to release those screws on both sides. There will be several of those. When you do. When you do that, you will need to slide in the new hard drive. Be careful with the connector. Gently slide it off. Put the new drive in. Slide it into place. And screw the screws in. Put the panel on. And, um, and then we can move on to a bit where we copy the data over from the old drive to a new drive. So once you have put the hard drive in, connected the LAN, connected the power, um, switched your NAS on, you will need to copy your data now from old drive to a new one, which is now inside your Synology. So to do that, you will need um, docking station like this, it's like USB. Um, USB 3, 5 gigabits a second, transfer speeds, you can get um, all sorts of models and, and makes uh, of these docking stations, just Google or go to Amazon uh, and search for USB docking station, that's it. I'll add the one I have here in my hands in description, so if you're not sure which one is the right one then you can get that one so what you will need to do is just slide your drive in there is a sat connector at the bottom and connect this from your usb to the back of your synology where is also usb port and at that point you should be able to see your drive connected if not then we will need to connect it to linux and uh, use or, or Mac and use that as a middle middleman between your NAS and your docking station your old drive so it's going to be like adapter where you can copy data through your laptop to to your old NAS but we'll see if you're lucky you'll be able to do that when we connect it directly to your NAS so now we're gonna go to find.synology.com to find your NAS because since you put the new hard drive in there you will need to reinitialize your NAS, set it up again. But once you once we set set it up, we can then import those settings we saved before. Um, and then obviously we're going to copy data 
from your docking station you, you connect it to your NAS so you can just go through the process um, just general stuff click next and next and Q accept the terms and uh, you're ready to install so what you'll need to do is either go for online version of a DSM or you can manually install DSM if you wanted to uh, it's warning that uh, if there's any data on this NAS it will be obviously deleted this is your, this, your new, new drive you just added so the drive will be formatted new DSM will be installed and um, once this is done we should be able to start copying the data over to your to your new NAS, to your new hard drive in this NAS. So now Synology installed the new DSM, it rebooted the NAS, and uh, if you go to find Synology.com, you will be able to find your NAS and connect to it. So if you get this um, error message, obviously you're not you're using self-signed certificate. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that not the third party has confirmed this is um secure SSL connection. So what you need to do is just um, go advanced, proceed to this IP unsafely, which is still safely, still encrypted connection. So then you'll be logged into your DSM. So now we are greeted with DSM 7.1, which is new version of DSM. Uh, do we do we want to start? Yes, we want to start. Uh, then we create again the username and the password. Um, device device name you can choose whatever the name is going to be. Let's say I'll call it my way. You can call it your way. Um, your username, your password. I would recommend if you want to move your data and everything like by like, then you should use uh, when you set up your NAS use the same username. And once once you're doing a restore process, I would um, recommend you enabling admin panel, admin account and log in as an admin, and then restore the settings because you will need admin rights to do that. So once you have set up your username and password and name of the NAS, you can also tick a box if you want it to be easily available uh, using this web assistant findsology.com in in the future, which can be handy. I'll say yes. After you do that, click next. And then the next step, you should be able to create a uh, update, set up the updates. Um, it's your choice to automate them. I would recommend them to be automated unless you run some specific website where you need to make sure that um, the code, the background, background is actually compatible with your software so in those cases you wouldn't like php and things like that but um, i'll go ahead do the recommended option uh, you can sign in with the synology app from sign it's very handy if you want to i uh, will skip this step this video is not much about how to log into your nas safely skip anyway device analytics if you want to a share of Synology, how Synology is performing, any errors, so they can improve their product. It's up to you if you want to share that or not. And there we are in the DSM. So there is no data at this point in your Synology. Um, if you haven't connected um, your USB docking station already, this is going to be the right time to start doing that. So the first thing we want to do is restore our settings. That will include, include shared folders, usernames, and things like that. So what we do, what we need to do is go to control panel, go to restore, go to configuration and backup. If you did have this enable automatic DSM backup before enabled, then your backups would live on Synology Cloud. So you could restore similarly to like uh, iPhone allows you but just settings, not, not all files. But we did a manual export, so we go to restore configurations from the file, choose the file, the top one would be restoring from Synology Cloud, uh, choose our file, find our file where we did the backup as the SS file, click open, next, and then it's gonna ask you, do you want to 
restore users, user groups, shared folders, um, or group settings and network settings. And we're going to say yes, just do everything. If there's anything conflicting, just override those settings. So now we can head to file station and see if um, the external drive is seen, is connected, and we can see USB share one. So this is your old hard drive with all your data. So you just do a simple copy, go to your file station, shared folder here, and you can paste the data in there. Um, if you want to dig deeper, you probably could go through all of these uh, config folders and system folders. You could potentially import all that as well into your new drive, but then you would need to connect to uh, this SSH level. Or you could do hard drive cloning, data cloning, that, that could be another option. But this is a fairly simple way of copying your data over to a new drive if you have no much of IT knowledge. So simply connect, copy and paste. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, you can always go to NAS Compares, fill the form on the right hand side. And uh, if the question will be interesting, we can shoot a video like this so we can help you and we can help others as well. Cheerio.